problem hey, with these guys oh, that can't even think off. straight. Yeah, he's think there he on. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss, gentlemen, you're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize, but he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Sorry. Hey, what's going on? Hey, with these guys oh, that can't even think down, straight. Yeah, he's think there he on. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss, gentlemen, you're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. 
I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize, but he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Yeah, sure. I'll pick you up in the next 60 minutes. Great, Nico. See you soon. Nico, I've been thinking about it, and I want you to pay our friend Ray a visit. Give him a message today. You gotta sit down on Card Row and eat collar. If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He fought some protection, and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you to know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle to stop for gas on the way. It might create a good opportunity for you.
meeting went to plan, Mr. Pegorino. Cleaning up's a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind, it's so clean. I'll talk to you. Let's go, and by the way, you're late. expect me to do my job properly when I can't even afford a proper place to sleep. I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> 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 My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally <laughs> come to an end? <laughs> I, I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand East.
Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Hey, sure. Ugly. Walk away. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. 
Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! I guess. You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. More Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? Politicians are as crooked as a gangster. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. Fuck was that? 
I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. You did good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Grovelli? See you later. And you think that's actually...